Terrytown was a happy, sleepy town. Though the deep woods, right next to the town, was haunted by a dark secret. And within these woods lie the true evil spirit known as the Headless Horseman. Many people believed that this spirit was responsible for the mysterious disappearances of several town citizens. The old school teacher had mysteriously disappeared. Ichabod Crane was the new school teacher. He was a tall man with a cheerful attitude. The Van Tassels, the richest family in all of Terrytown. Katrina was the oldest daughter in the family. She was the prettiest girl in the county. All of the men had her eyes on her, especially Ichabod. Brom Bones, the strongest man in town. Though he might have been the strongest, he wasn't exactly the smartest. He took any opportunity he could to show off in front of the ladies. <laughs> All right, class, let's discuss your reading assignment. Where does little Patty live? Annabelle? Annabelle Academy by the Great Board. Good job. Oh, hi, Katrina. Hello, Ichabod. My father is having an all house Eve ball tomorrow night. Would you like to attend? May I accompany you? Yes, you may. What time is it? It's at 6 o'clock. And where is this? It's at our barn. And there will be a lot of people there, and refreshments, and a fiddle, fiddle player. It will be a lot of fun. I hope you come. I would love to. Great. Getting desperate, Brom tried to get Katrina away from Ichabod by any means he needed. About to steal my girl, guys. What yeah. am I gonna do? We got scared him out of town, bro. I tried to with the snake, but he just picked it up and carried it out. Well, tomorrow night's that harvest ball. We could tell him the story of the headless horseman, cause he has to walk through Sleepy Hollow on his way home. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good idea. You know that legend is real, and tomorrow the horseman does ride. Tomorrow the headless horseman rides. Yeah. Frustrated, Brahm tried to cut in on Ichabod's dance. Everybody, help yourself. Plenty of food for everyone. Soon to be sung now. That was wonderful. Ichabod, you're the greatest. Mr. Crane, play another tune. Ah! That's just Brahm being yeah. Brahm. <laughs> hey, Mr. Van Tassel. Isn't it about time to go inside and start telling ghost stories? Oh, that's a great idea. Everybody, circle around the fire. Come on. I got the perfect story. Who's got a story to tell? We do. 
This door's for you, Ichabod, since you're new in town. There's bad spirits around here, Ichabod. They're all around us, and they control the existence of this world. Yeah, and worst of all, it's the Headless Horseman. No, there's no such thing as ghosts. Yes, yes there is. I've seen the Headless Horseman. My uncle was killed by the Headless Horseman. Do you know how the Headless Horseman came to be, Ichabod? Uh, no. Well, I might as well tell you. Twenty years ago, during the War for Independence, there was a group of Hessian soldiers who fought another group of colonists. Now, there was this one particular Hessian soldier who wouldn't just shoot his enemies with a musket. No, he would cut their heads off. Now, he kept fighting, but eventually the Americans captured him. And as a punishment, they cut his own head off and buried him without his head. And then he raised up from his grave. And then he started searching for his own head in Sleepy Hollow. And he won't stop searching until he's found his head. And he's looking for victims, looking for his own head. And don't you have to walk through Sleepy Hollow tonight? Mm, yeah. I'd watch out if I were you. That was a great story. Oh, that's no story. It's true. Beware, Ichabod. Beware as you go through the hall tonight. Beware that you don't go through after 12. Is Mr. Crane going to be my brother-in-law? No. I don't really like Ichabod all that much. But Brom, he's so handsome and so strong. Don't you think? Well, I guess so. But you and Ichabod make such a cute couple. Well, don't you see, the only reason I'm dancing with Ichabod is to make Brom jealous. Are you serious? Yeah. Ichabod! On his way home through Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod was feeling more afraid than usual. Ichabod stopped as he saw a lantern mysteriously hanging on the branch of a tree. The next morning, Ichabod was never found, just his hat and a smashed pumpkin. People claimed to have seen Ichabod in Maine and several other states. Others believed that Brom played a trick on Ichabod. Shortly thereafter, Brom and Katrina got married. Mr. Van Tassel took it pretty well. But the spirit of the Headless Horseman lives on, seeking for victims in search of his head. Yeah!